Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark and Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the AGR LRTN and Chiaotzu at 100% in the Hidden Potential system. So, obviously, uh, they got their EZA, I think, two or three World Tournaments ago. Uh, I did take a look at them when I had them at 69%. They were very good, uh, but I wanted to get another good look at them uh, while they were at 100% in the Hidden Potential system because obviously it's a big difference and also it's a nice milestone for a unit so basically uh, they are a all types lead 120% raise defense on their 12 key with a medium chance of stunning raise defense on their 18 key with a high chance of stunning they're passive they get key plus two attacking defense of 100% and get an additional key plus one with each attack performed they get an additional key plus three a medium chance of forming a critical hit when there's another bond of friendship category ally attacking in the same turn when key is 14 or more, they will get 50% attack and defense. When key is 16 or more, they'll get another 100% attack and defense on top. They will launch an additional attack. There's a high chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18 or more. And they will have their crit chance go up by 20% and seal the attacked enemy super attack when key is 20 or more. So a lot of it is key dependent, but because they build up key from their passive, it's not such a restriction as you might imagine. Z Fighters, Crane School, Don Don Ray, Telepathy, Shocking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power are their link sets. And they are Bond of Friendship, Earthbred Fighters, Earthlings, Drone Forces, Saiyan Saga, World Tournament, and Worthy Rivals. They are pretty much able to be run on any of the teams as they simply just require a Bond of Friendship category ally attacking in the same turn. Bond of Friendship category allies are fairly common, uh, especially amongst the super class units. Now, in terms of their overall performance, Although their defense may not look super high, uh, although turn GK is not bad, start of turn, remember their key boosts will only take effect upon them actually firing their super attack. So that 150% key boost uh, is only going to kick in uh, once they fire off their super attack. And this dramatically changes their defense. Uh, it's multiplicative. So it works very much uh, like a um, you know, super, like a on super defensive race. So it's a very, very good uh, level of multiplicative defense. Uh, and basically uh, what it does is it essentially pushes their attacking defense to being uh, well over 400%, uh, which is really, really good. So very, very, very good unit uh, in general. Uh, for me, their defense you know, it does get to around the 500k mark with super attacks. Uh, additional attacks do help this unit out a lot. They'll have 50% chance of critting uh, when there is a Bond of Friendship category ally if they get their 20 key. And if you can get additionals uh, and they have their additional attack as well, then what tends to happen is, is they can raise their defense twice. What this means is they'll be getting uh, close to another uh, 80,000 defense per super uh, and then they'll be sitting at a pretty decent after super defensive mark. They will also, uh, of course, have the ability to fire three super attacks in a turn, uh, which will push them even higher. And they'll cause some pretty decent damage. A 13 million attack stat, followed by a 6 million, followed by another 6 million is pretty impressive. And I think overall, they are a very, very nice looking unit. Now, the biggest difficulty you're going to have with them is obviously any event whereby they hit before they super. Uh, they are generally speaking a second slot unit. And one of their biggest hindrances is their link set. Shocking speed, China limit, and legendary power are not bad in any way, shape, or form. But everything else from there is incredibly hard to get. Z Fighters, Crane School, Don Don Ray, and Telepathy are just not fantastic. So building them full additional, not a problem. Uh, their functionality pretty good, their damage pretty good, their kit nice. Uh, but their role is a bit mixed bag. Uh, they'll be decent on the joint forces team. I think Saiyan Saga, they can accompany a lot of units. Uh, but the big thing with them is, you know, they're more a unit that could enable another TN that potentially could be a very good TN, if that makes sense. So without there being potentially another amazing TN, uh, they lose a lot of their value. What would have been really cool, uh, although it's obviously super difficult to change, they had like a 50% support type TN I uh, like the tech one. That would have been really cool uh, and made great synergy between them. But for now, overall, uh, they are still pretty good. Um, I think they're a lot of fun 
uh, are they worth the investment? I think the biggest thing that holds them back is their limitation in terms of category. Uh, they're just not on a lot of categories. If you throw in the bond of friendship requirement, it limits them a little bit more. Uh, and their link set doesn't make them super great. They could be a nice damage dealing floater, but that's really all I see them as. But for early to mid game content, they're going to be a ton of fun to use. And they can definitely find some good usability in SBR and ESBR because they have built in additional stunning and ceiling. So all very good tools for SBR and ESBR. Aside from that, though, a ton of fun to use the unit. Uh, I had a great time using them. Uh, I think they are awesome. Animations are pretty fun, although obviously a little bit aged out. But they are still really cool. If you're a fan of TN, uh, this is all the original Z fighters and things like that. This is still a pretty good unit, and it's going to be a really fun one to kind of rock with. Link-wise, just focus on sharing the limit or shocking speed. Whatever else you get is really a bonus. Um, if it's Z Fighters or Crane School or even Legendary Power, uh, any of those is just more bonus. Uh, you're kind of just looking for a little bit of key to help push them up that bracket. And then from there, you can kind of take things yeah, you know, as you feel. But yeah, that's basically it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye.